Morning everyone, good morning. Back in London, uh, got through the jet lag okay. Been here a week now, so I haven't been putting any videos up, so today I thought I'd do a video. And sometimes the ideas come from the strangest places. Just been to the gym, trying to get fit again, and I had an idea for a video. Okay, so today I thought I'd uh, do a video on how I manage this channel. And it's only a small channel, and sometimes I don't understand, uh, I, I can't even imagine how large YouTubers manage their channel, but it's managing this channel, managing some of the social accounts that I have, which is mainly Instagram, and my process for, from the idea for the video, to making it, uh, to getting the time to do it, and hoping that you guys, when you watch it, you enjoy it, and I get the comments and the likes and the feedback, and it helps people along the way. I know a lot of my 997 videos and I get a lot of messages on Instagram and on YouTube that it has helped people in their journey. And that's, I guess that's the reward. That's the best payoff of YouTube and that's the best payoff of social media. That your thoughts actually are helping other people in their journey to get their 911. So let's start the video and Hopefully you guys will enjoy. Okay, back again. Uh, you know, the thing about YouTube is, is uh, a lot of people think it's really easy. I think a lot of people think that making content is an easy thing and you'll have a million subscribers and you'll be on the top. And obviously that's not the case. And it's not also the driving factor for a lot of people. I mean, it's not the driving factor for me. Uh, YouTube is not my full-time job. I have a job. Uh, YouTube is something I do to something that I enjoy doing. Uh, I enjoy making videos. Uh, I enjoy editing videos. I enjoy the process of thinking about what a video should be about. I enjoy the process of, of creating, I guess. Um, but sometimes that's not always easy. And, you know, making content is a difficult process. And, you know, um, I don't... In no instance do I, do I think my content is super polished. I know it isn't. Uh, but that's not the point of my content on YouTube. Uh, the point is, 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 is to talk about things I enjoy, to communicate it to you guys, and to get feedback. And that's, that's what I enjoy. The thing is though, the process of, of, of... The thing about YouTube is, is it's not easy. And um, I guess the hardest thing is coming up with the ideas and, and having regular videos. I think you'll find that main YouTubers, like the main YouTubers that are auto YouTubers that are that have got the big subscribers, most of them are probably only putting out three videos a week. Um, I try to put out a video a week, as you know, over holiday periods and Christmas. I try to put out more. Um, sometimes I put out more than one. I like to put out at least two a week. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I know I've had a bit of a gap here for the last week and a half when I've been traveling, but. Um, I try to do at least two videos a week. Sometimes it's not so easy. Sometimes the uh, the ideas don't come as quickly as you would want. Like today, for for instance, you know, to get an idea for a video, normally it happens when I'm running or I'm on the gym or I'm on the tube or you know I'm on a plane and I'll just note it down for later and then I'll work on it later on. Um, but I guess the thing is, you come up with lots of good ideas to make a video about you know Porsche or about. The 997 or all these things but then you have to have enough substance in it to actually make a video and to make a video that's you know of a reasonable length when I first started YouTube I made terrible videos my first videos on YouTube are terrible they were like for two minutes or so uh, they had no context they weren't really about anything I don't know what I was doing uh, and then you know, my 9-11 passion grew stronger. I started seriously thinking about buying a 9-11 and that was the focus I took. I still like to do, as you guys know, I still like to do the occasional tech video, which I know not everyone watches. Other, that's a different audience almost. And then I also like to do design videos and art videos because I'm interested in exhibitions and things <clears throat> for work. But in general, I'm, I'm interested in that side of, that side of design. Um, so I do concentrate primarily on the 997, as you guys know, but I do do other videos, like when I'm traveling, I'll do a travel video. If I'm, you know, if I go somewhere interesting, or I'll do a uh, video on an exhibition that I've seen that I thought was good to put up. Um, they don't get a lot of views, but that's not the point. The point is I enjoy doing it. Uh, I want to share it for people that don't get to see these exhibitions. 
I'm in a really lucky position. I get to see a lot of things in a lot of different places. Uh, I get to see a lot of, you know, exhibitions, etc., which other people don't get to see. And I know I have friends in Australia who are very envious of me because they want to see these exhibitions and, you know, these things don't come to Australia. So that side of it, I think it's good. You share it. Other people get to enjoy it uh, without being there. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So when it comes to videos, you know, like it takes a long time. I, I get an idea. I talk about it. As you guys know, I like I like the one-on-one -on -one talking thing with YouTube. I like to do that. Uh, so a lot of the times I'm sitting, not here, I'm in the bedroom at the moment, but normally I'm sitting outside. Natasha's on a video work call at the moment, so that's why I'm in the bedroom. But, you know, in Sydney, the same thing. Uh, in Sydney, obviously, I have the 997, so it's easier to do better content because I have the car with me. Uh, it's not easy doing a car, a Porsche video, a Porsche based, you know, primarily based channel when I don't have the car here. And I've gone through that before in numerous videos that I should have a car in the UK. Uh, I think things may be changing shortly, I'm not sure. One day you think things are getting better and the next day things change again. So I'm just waiting to see if uh, a new opportunity comes up. If it does, like I said in my last video, there's an opportunity where I can actually have a... Hopefully a GT3. <laughs> not uh, in Australia, but somewhere else. Hopefully, but... It's 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 still in the wind. It's still being all organised. So I'm not sure about the uh, about the job happening. Um, yeah. So I go through the process. <clears throat> I think about the idea. I do a little bit of research if I need to. A lot of the times, my inspiration comes from I go to the forums. I go to Renlist. I go to uh, Porsche forums in Australia. I go to Piston Heads. Uh, I look at articles that have been written online. So I get a general idea of what I want to talk about. I look at other things and see what other people have spoken about. Not always, not always. When I'm talking about the 997, not always. But in Porsche content, then I do. Uh, so I get that idea and then I build upon that. But the hard process is putting an idea into a video that is, you know, 10 minutes long. And the 10 minutes long I'll explain at the end of the video. But I think anything under 10 minutes is probably too short. Anything over 15 minutes in my mind is too long. I know the trend on YouTube at the moment is to do uh, longer videos and that's to do with uh, Google, uh, YouTube's algorithm and people trying to milk it for more uh, AdSense money. Uh, I think long videos on YouTube, I think they're way too long. I think people's attention span on YouTube is about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes max. Uh, and even then I think you'll find that people will drop off the video before then. Okay, so then when you actually have the idea and you've shot the video. Now, some videos I can shoot in, you know, if it's... I can shoot very quickly and I'll do it and it might take me half an hour to shoot the video. Other videos, when it's involving the car, I mean, that takes time during the day. So I might do it over one day or I might do it over two days. Usually over one day. Uh, I, I try to do a video when I'm doing those ones where I try to give you guys a bit of a story and a bit of a lead-in and then, and then a bit of a lead-out when I'm back in the flat. I try to do it in some kind of sequence, uh, but videos in general, they take half an hour maybe if you have the ideas solid in your head and you can film it. If it's an outside sort of broadcasting where you've got the car and you're doing little bits and pieces, it takes a lot longer. Uh, then the next process, which is actually probably the longest process, is the editing. Now I don't edit in iMovie, I edit in Final Cut Pro. Uh, I don't use Premiere, a lot of people use Premiere. Uh, I use Final Cut Pro, I can use it quite well, I've been using it for quite some time now. Uh, I have various plugins that I use in that, but to do Final Cut Pro, it takes a while to edit, and it takes longer than you would think. Um, <clears throat> when I start to edit, uh, like the videos that I did in Sydney for you guys, the Porsche videos, I think they took me around four hours to edit. Uh, and that's from the beginning, putting them in the timeline, uh, cutting the pieces out that I don't need, adding extra clips in, adding extra footage in, finding old footage to add to the video, to add to the sequence. Uh, it takes about four hours. And then at the end, you know, the hardest part is always working out the, um, the thumbnail and the music. Uh, you know, the music is always a tricky bit. And I don't have music through all my videos, but I like to have them, as you know, at the beginning and the end and in, and in some sequences through the video. So, Editing takes a long time. Uh, you do two videos a week, it takes a long time. So your night, uh, usually I start them at 8, 9 o'clock and I'm finished by about midnight. Uh, depending on when I want to post the video. If I do it the day before, 
then it doesn't matter so much. If I want to post it straight away, then I'll edit it straight away. And then I guess I'm using half a day just to do a video. So obviously weekends are easier uh, than weekdays. Um, bearing in mind, I'm, I'm very lucky. Uh, the work that I do, it, it provides me with a very flexible, flexible uh, working hours. Uh, in some ways, I work to the Middle East um, because we work with Middle East clients. I work to the Middle East uh, working week. So I guess sometimes I try to have Friday and Saturdays off uh, because we have an office in the Middle East. Um, so Sundays kind of back at work, but you know, depending on what's happening. So I try to work to that sort of timeline, that sort of week, working week. And I try to fit in my YouTube videos into that, into that sequence. Um, yeah, so editing is very difficult. Uh, if you don't know how to edit, do not be scared. If you want to do a YouTube video, I mean, iMovie is okay. It's very basic. It doesn't allow you a lot of flexibility. Uh, Final Cut Pro is better. Don't be scared off by Final Cut Pro. It's actually really easy to use. If you've used iMovie, go into Final Cut Pro. Just look at a few videos online. Set up your projects properly. Set up your timeline and, and you'll be fine. Um, but it gives you so much more flexibility. There's so many presets you can use and it works really, really well. Uh, so that's the editing process. Thumbnails are always difficult. Uh, they're always hard to work out the best photo. Uh, I don't always, it's always hit and miss with me. Some of them are terrible. Some of them I'm really proud of, but some of them are terrible. Um, but that's, that's just how it is. You know, you just have to, you can't be too self-conscious when you're on YouTube. You know, you have to realize that you're looking at yourself the whole time when you're editing. Your thumbnail is normally you, so you just have to forget about it, post it up, and and wait for a reaction. Uh, luckily, I've been uh, very fortunate that most people have been very nice on YouTube. I haven't had a lot of offensive comments. I've had a few. Uh, those people are usually, after a while, if they keep going, a block. Um, but I try not to block people because I think, you know, comments are comments, and you should take the good with the bad. Uh, what's next? I guess then uh, a YouTube channel people think, well, what's the payoff? Uh, are you getting AdSense money? Now, as you would have seen by my videos, there's ads on my video. Uh, my channel is monetized uh, through Google AdSense. I don't choose where the ads go. I let Google choose that. Uh, I'm not really fussed about where they go. If they suggest the placement, I just leave it. I don't have all ads on my, on my video. There's about, I think, when you uh, use YouTube Studio, which is what you post the video up to, there's a few variations on how many different types of ads. I don't tick all of them, so that I do select. Where they go in the video, I don't select. I just leave them at the default. Um, now, monetization. I can't remember when I was actually eligible for the monetization program. I think it's after 100 subscribers. It couldn't be after 1,000. It must be after 100. Uh, so after 100, I became a part of the AdSense program. Um, I reckon that's probably two years ago. Now, just so you know, uh, if you want to make money from YouTube, uh, you have to do a lot more videos than one or two a week. You know, in fact, I think in the beginning, if, you, if, if it's going to be your primary source of income, you'd have to post a video a day and you'd have to do it like a la Casey Neistat and do it for six months or a year and then build your following. Uh, a lot of channels on YouTube have done that and obviously they've gained a lot of subscribers but there are also a lot of clickbait channels as well so they're not necessarily uh, good content not Casey Neistat but in general um, so AdSense to give you guys an idea uh, AdSense income I hardly ever look at it it the amount at the moment in Australian dollars not in US dollars in Australian dollars is not enough to buy a not enough to buy an iPhone XS in Australia, and that's after two years. Uh, now, sure, it's not zero dollars, um, but that's about all it is. So don't expect uh, a lot of money from YouTube. Don't do it for the money. Do it because you enjoy it. Uh, do it because you enjoy the interaction. Uh, so let's just go to back. I mean, the earnings is one thing, but what is the payoff? Uh, the payoff is the community. The payoff is the community. And with my channel, it's the Porsche community. It's the people in who are interested in 997s, not only 997s. It's people that own 997s. You guys know who you are. It's the great subscribers that I have that are, that are striving to get their 997, the same situation that I was in, the same journey that I took, uh, that I'm sharing with them, and they're sharing with me saying they can't wait to buy their first 997. Some of you, as you, you'll know who you are, haven't bought a 997. You've bought other Porsches like a Cayman, which is a great story because you've still got your Porsche and you've been talking to me and then you buy it. 
Uh, and I don't know, that's, that to me is the payoff. Uh, that first, that first uh, I guess, light that went off when I knew that I was going to have my 911. The day that I found the 911 and then I realized I could get the money together and I put the deposit down and I knew it was going to happen. And it was going to happen in that week. I was going to get a 997. I was going to have my first 911. And I know what that feeling's like. You know what I mean? And I know the anticipation up to that, that, up to that point where you worry about all these silly things and, and then you worry whether you should afford it. Are you going to, you know, all these things that you worry about. And then you get the car. And that feeling, you know, that feeling when you first, you know, the feeling, I remember when we drove away from the dealer, uh, Natasha and I, and, you know, I was excited, but I was also scared because I'm driving a 911 for the first time. I'd driven the car before to get a PPI, but I'm driving it out of the dealer. And it's like, wow, you know, like I own a 911. And then I drove back into my garage and it's like, you know, you're so cautious about everything. And then it hits you, you know, you've got it. The journey is, the journey's not finished, you know what I mean? The journey is beginning. The Porsche journey is beginning. And that's what's been great about YouTube. I've shared that journey with you guys from when I was thinking about it to being sensible to now. And to me, that is the biggest payoff. That is why I do it. And I know a lot of other channels are in the same. I know, you know, my friend James at Auto Amateur, he's probably doing it for the same reasons. It's that community spirit. It's that, it's that passion. It's that sharing your journey with other people who are going through the same process. And that's what's good about it. And that's what's good about YouTube, that it's so accessible and so easy to put a video up. Um, and like I said, you can't be self-conscious. You just have to do it. Share your story and people will connect. And that's the best thing about YouTube. And that's what makes it worth it by putting in the extra time. Like I said, monetary reward, forget about that. Do it for do it for other reasons. Uh, do it for other reasons. I guess the other, I guess the other side of uh, making YouTube videos too is that it's like washing a car. Uh, I know a lot of people. I know there's some people out there that get their cars washed. I actually really enjoy washing and detailing my 911. Uh, and so, and those of you who know me know my car is always very clean, and I love putting wax on it. Uh, and that comes from my friend who has a GT3. He got me into that crazy wax craze where I just wax it so much. But it actually protects the paintwork, and it, it really is it really is a good thing. Anyway, past the point. The whole point, you know, that's what I like about it. You know, YouTube is like washing my car. It's a stress release. Uh, it's like for me going for a run. Any of you who run, you know what happens when you zone out. When I wash the car, I zone out. When I make a YouTube video, it makes me forget about everything else that's on my mind. All the stress of work, all the other stresses that we have in our life. And all I think about is making the video. All I think about is editing the video. And it's a really, really good feeling. Um, and I guess you guys, I have to thank for it because you guys have been supporting me. You guys have been watching my videos. You've been liking my videos. My car on Instagram is is always getting great comments. You know, P997.1 Instagram, if you haven't seen it. I'll put it down the below, actually. Um, but, you know, it's it's nice. It's a nice feeling. It's why I do YouTube. Uh, YouTube is not easy. I had a I had an alternative title for this video and I think I'm going to have to I had a title for this video and I think I'm going to have to change it because I haven't really gone into the other social media. Um I think I've probably made this video long enough. Like I said, I don't like to do the videos t over 10 months, too much over 10 minutes because I think it might get boring for you guys. But um yeah. So that's that's my process. That's why I do YouTube. That's why I love it and uh I'm going to keep doing it. I really want to bring out more videos. I really really do and Hopefully I'm going to have the opportunity to do that, but um, until now, I think I've probably spoken enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, a little bit different. Yeah, and I always worry you guys are going to get uh, bored with it if it's, uh, you know, if I'm just talking too much, but, um, and there's no cars. Maybe I'll put a few cars through the video. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, farewell from London. Uh, I'm here for a little bit, going to the Middle East soon, I think, but... Uh, I'm going to do another video on what's today. It's Thursday in London. This one's probably going to go up Friday. I'm going to do another video on Sunday, so watch out for that. I'm going to do a commentary video, a commentary video about Porsche. See if you can guess what I'm going to talk about. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.